The heresy of Cornelius Van Til has devastated Presbyterian and Reformed churches in the United States of America. Consider Federal Vision. Joseph Minich writes, and I quote, It is interesting to note that it was Van Til and his followers, Frame, Bonson, etc., who were openly supportive of Norman Shepherd during the controversy at Westminster Theological Seminary. Whereas many criticized Shepherd for his contradictory formulations, his Vantillian observers understood the difficulty of walking the quote-unquote fine line of theology and exegesis as something reflective of real Christian theological struggle. His critics, on the other hand, usually criticized him for contradicting himself. Within the bounds of orthodoxy, an examination of the Federal Vision controversy. You can go to federal-vision.com and read the entire article for yourself. I have a link to it on the right of the video. To their great embarrassment, even the OPC, the Orthodox Presbyterian Church, which to this day defends the heresy of Cornelius Van Til, even they have to admit that almost all of the proponents of Federal Vision are Van Tilians. And these Van Tilians, who are Federal Visionists, they use Van Til's apologetic method to defend Federal Vision. They, they make appeals to irrationalism and they make appeals to paradox, just as Van Til taught them to do. And uh, anybody who attacks them with logic are immediately accused of being rationalists, just as all Van Tilians love to accuse anybody who examines Van Til's teachings with the law of non contradiction. The OPC says clearly, and I quote, Most, if not all, of the Federal Vision proponents would claim either to be followers of the apologetical methodology of Van Til or would otherwise not see themselves as contradicting him. End quote. Report on Justification, page 66, 73rd General Assembly of the OPC.